All right, so um, this is the what we call the 216 heater. Some of you guys are ordering this. Right now, heat surge is out of them, and they're going to be out of them for a while. So what they're replacing this with is uh, what we call the 1008 heater, which looks like this one here. Um, just has uh, this is our current heater that they're using on their new power tower. It has the um, thermal switch here as well as a diode here for extra protection. Um, but it is wired different. And so this video is going to help us figure out or show you how to wire the new heater that you're getting when you're ordering this one. So, Right now, what they have is the two power wires to the heater. These are connected to the board right inside here, which are marked 750 watts and 750 watts. So they're just two wires. I've got this loose so that you can see that plug into the board right here and right here. Um, this new heater, because of the way it mounts right here on the side, the power wires are on the side. Now, heat search was supposed to send us wires that are connected to here. Some of them don't have it, so uh, we'll be sending those either separately or uh, rebuilding them here in the shop and then sending them with you. And they've got really long wires up on top. And these two wires replace these two blue coated wires right here which go into the board right here and those are marked ACL1 and ACL2 and then this white wire which is on this side of the heater which is now this wire right here on the right side of the heater is the neutral wire which just goes to one of the terminals any one of the terminals, uh, terminals in the back of the board uh, marking it as neutral so what I'm going to do is remove this heater. I'll install this one with our new wires on there. In fact, uh, the new wires. Hang on one second. All right, here I've made this one up. All I've done is take the two long brown ones that were hooked up to uh, the thermal switch here and mounted them on the side. And then I made. A longer wire for here, but not quite as long as the brown ones. And then I removed the shorter ground wire right here and put it on top right there. And then I made a wire here that's a little bit longer to reach that neutral slot, just a little bit better. So I'm going to show you how this gets hooked up. Uh, almost. Okay. All right, so I've got the, uh, the new heater installed. So what we're going to do, there's a couple ways that you can run these uh, power wires here. One is to go back behind here, which is probably the way I'd recommend it. And take some little zip ties. You can zip tie all of this stuff together once you get it installed. But these will wrap around again, so because they're extra length, you're going to plug this into the two slots on the board marked 750 watts and 750 watts so it really doesn't matter which wire gets plugged into one just as long as they're both plugged into 750 watts then like I say we'll bundle this up and we'll shorten them along just to have a little extra with some zip ties like that. This one right here, the one on the right side, the little longer one, this is going to wrap around also with those and it's going to plug into ACL1 or ACL2. I'm going to plug this one into ACL2 and then we'll plug the other top one here into ACL1 since it's the shorter one and that's the closest slot right there. Now the, for the neutral one that's on this side of the board. Again, this will just go to any one of those slots right there in the back of the board. So once this is done, all you're gonna do 
or you'll want to do if you have some zip ties is to just kind of bundle some of this up, make it nice and neat. Like so, got a little of the extra. And then every so often, I'll put a zip tie around here just to kind of keep it down a little bit. Just like so. I have very tight zip ties like that. We'll do this all the way around. that out of my switch there lay it down like that and of course you'll want to bundle some of this up with zip ties as you probably have seen they already have that when they do them at the factory just to keep some of these wires out of the fan motor and away from the heater Like so, of course we'll go back and cut some of the tabs off here. And that's how you will install uh, the 1008 uh, style heater in this unit. On the on the heater itself, I had a little trouble because these white tabs, so one's going on the inside over here, this one's going on the outside. Uh, the fan size may be a little bit different, but you just want to make sure that it's uh, butt up nice and tight. And that's how you'll convert your 216 heater over to the uh, 1008 heater.